where your partner visa has been granted and it's now time to start focusing on your future in Australia. Now there's lots of different things that you'll want to happen when your partner visa is granted. Mostly it's just getting on the plane and coming out to Australia to be with your partner. Uh, but some of the things that you might want to start thinking about in advance or have your partner start thinking about in advance are as follows. So when you travel to Australia, what kind of identity documents are you going to need to bring for your life in Australia? So these could be things like your birth certificate, uh, your marriage certificate, certain identity documents, translations for those documents. When you've been through the Partner Visa program and you require translations, you can probably use those translations for everyday life. So when you're applying, for example, for a tax file number, when it's time to start job hunting, you might need certain bits of identity evidence to do that. If you're wanting to drive when you're in Australia, it might be time to reach out and find out what's required for you to either transfer your license over if that's possible, um, or start driving lessons or driving tests or whatever's necessary for you to get on the road. Another thing not to overlook is your car insurance and what the requirements are for your car insurance company for you to drive and be insured to drive because sometimes the requirements from the transport office, the government transport office, might be different to your car insurance company. So that's something to, to suss out or, or to flesh out on your way or once you arrive in Australia. Some other things that you might want to start looking at are where you're going to start applying for work. Are you going to be applying locally? Um, what websites are you going to use? What documents are you going to need? I'm going to include below some links to help you job hunt. If you haven't left your home country yet, then it's a good idea to start doing that research now and getting familiar with what documents you're going to need, what references you're going to need. Because I found with a lot of my clients, once they get on the plane and come to Australia, it's really hard to get back um, or to get on the phone and hassle people, hustle people to give you the things that you need. Uh, other things that you're going to need are to open up a bank account. So it might be worthwhile having your partner reach out to some of the local banks to find out what documentation you need to see if you can even do it in advance if you haven't already. Also, if you're going to be moving money to, from overseas to Australia, you'll have to look at how to get that done in advance. If you and your partner are going to be starting afresh and finding a new place to live, um, other things to do are to start looking at apartments and homes. That's really one of the funnest things to be doing with your partner when you're heading out to Australia to start your new life together. Uh, so have a look at what some of the identity requirements are and the document requirements are if you're going to be added to that lease. Um, other things are Medicare. So um, if you're from the States, this is going to be such a novelty for you. Um, for a lot of countries around the world, uh, they don't have Medicare like we do here in Australia. So it's a wonderful privilege and a benefit uh, to people who come out to Australia holding a 309 visa. If you're somebody who's already in Australia and you've applied for the 820 and that's been granted, you've probably already had it, you've probably already made good use of it. Um, so that's something else to consider. Also looking at whether or not you're going to have private health insurance, uh, that's something that you might want to look at together as a couple. So in short, I hope that's lots of nice hints and tips. Uh, if you haven't already thought of, you can start list making together before you jump on a plane and come out here to Australia. But congratulations again, and I hope Australia's everything that you, um, you plan for it to be.